what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a pamper routine because it's saturday night and i actually don't work so i decided to treat myself so we're going to be doing like a vlog style pamper routine night get excited you better do this with me so the first part to my pamper routine always starts with the hair because it's the stuff i like to leave in like on for the longest i guess so uh for about three maybe four hours now i've had my hair oils in so every time i do my pamper routine this is what i do in the ends of my hair i mix together an argan oil and then a squalene oil squalene oil is this one from the ordinary it's just super hydrating you guys have probably heard of it before for like um skin but it's also great for your hair so I mix this together with an argan oil. I'm using the Trader Joe's one right now. Again, I've said this before, it's not my favorite. I actually prefer the Ordinaries, but my bottle spilt over. Thank you, Matt. Um, and then on the top of the scalp, or on, on the scalp, I will use the Ordinary um, Multi-Peptide Serum for hair density. It's supposed to make your hair like thicker, not sure if it really does anything because I haven't used it that long. So while we keep letting that happen, we are first gonna go to the store because there is a couple things I need to restock up on, especially for the pamper night. So I just left CVS. Um, usually I wouldn't like to get my stuff from CVS, but it's the most convenient to me. So first of all, I got the Cetaphil um, purifying clay mask. I haven't had a purifying clay type mask in like the longest time ever. I kind of stopped using them for a while and then um, it even comes with a little spatula. It isn't really part of like the pamper routine but I got the Maybelline Sky High mascara because um, my boyfriend's sister was wearing it at dinner the other night and I was like, what are you wearing? Like those eyelashes look good girl so she told me this so i got that two nail polish colors i got this white okay it's not focusing on me but it's literally just white it's by essie i literally bought a white nail polish like two weeks ago and i can't use it because i hate the like nail polish like brush i fucking hate it and se has like the best ones ever and then i also bought this sally hansen's good kind pure plant-based nail polish um it's like the babiest blue ever how cute well, i'm just gonna go into albertson's really quickly i'm just gonna get like strawberries and wine all right so i'm back home now i got some strawberries and then i also got my wine which i left downstairs but i'll show you guys later also i'm just gonna open some water <laughs> This is water. This is just a can of water. It's called Liquid Death. It's so funny because I always see this in Cody Co's videos. I'm pretty sure the company like sponsors him in some way, but I only have it because Matt's dad is friends with the guy who like owns the company. So like we've had them for a long time, but. What can I say? Good water. I'm gonna change back into my sweats and give me a second so it's time to paint our nails i can't really decide if i want to do white i'm really feeling the baby blue i just feel like i might get tired of it easily since like i have a bluish purplish color already all right so i just painted my nails again i went with the blue color um, I really like it. Cute stuff. I'm watching Juicy Jazz. I freaking love this girl's channel. I aspire to be just like her. I'm going to apply Olaplex number three into my hair. Um, I have to get my hair a little bit wet first. All right, so the hair mask is all in now. Um, so you can basically leave this in for as long as you want. I probably will leave it in for like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so now we are going to apply the face mask. This is just the Cetaphil clay mask like I showed you guys earlier. I've never used this before, so I don't really know if I like it.
going to continue to drink my wine and um yeah basically just sit here chill and wait to shower until i feel like my hair has uh, been marinating <laughs> i need to stop saying the word marinating to describe my hair but wait till my hair has been like absorbing the mass uh long enough and then i'll shower the best hair mask i literally got out of the shower to show you guys all right i'm almost out but this shit's good okay, so i just got out of the shower um like you probably noticed i didn't show you guys me shaving or exfoliating or anything that's because i'm tanning tonight and i like to shave and everything a full day before i tan but i will show you guys um what i will use for that okay so when it comes to razors i don't find myself being very picky um i use these bic flex 4 ones these are technically men's um i started using them because matt would use them and i was too lazy to buy my own and they're bright for shaving cream i'll either use my body wash i'm currently using the native lilac and white tea one or i will use a shave cream this is eos uh, Shea Better Shave Cream Where I'll use this and then for exfoliation, which is crucial for <laughs> For you fake tan. I will use the tree hut sugar scrub again When it comes to exfoliators, I'm really not that picky. They're gonna exfoliate me either way So I just ordered DoorDash um, because I'm I'm a little lazy. Also, I drank, so probably not the best idea to drive. That's a good excuse. Um. Anyways, so after we eat, um, I the only thing really left to do. For my pamper night are whiten my teeth as well as tan uh, which both of those things I won't do till the end of the night because obviously I want the teeth I want the teeth whitener to be the last thing that touches my teeth at the end of the night and then self tanner one it's just uncomfortable and two can't do that until I brush my teeth because I can't be touching like anything else while it sits so I will, those are pretty much the two big to-dos still. Okay, so now that we're in lighting that's a little bit better, let me show you guys um, kind of like everything that I'll use for my teeth. Um, obviously I floss and brush my teeth every night, but I don't wipe my teeth every night, but I'll show you guys anyways. So this, these are the floss that I always like to use. I know they're not technically the best compared to like traditional floss, but I just like am so bad at using traditional floss and these ones actually get me to sit um, and floss um, and yeah so I will use these this is the toothbrush I use it's um, it's not by the brand Sonicare but it is like a Sonicare type brush with the vibrations um, has a couple different settings on it and I purchased this off of Amazon for like 30 bucks and it came with like six brush heads switch off between these two honestly um, sometimes I'll use the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Mineral Boost Toothpaste, I love it. Um, or I will use Paradon Tax, which is great for if you have bleeding gums. Um, my dentist actually recommended that I use this one because uh, at the time I had really bad bleeding gums because I didn't floss. But now I floss and I don't really suffer with that anymore. But yeah, she did recommend this. Um, so I use either two of these. Lastly, for whitening strips, I just use the Crest 3D White Teeth Whitening Strips. Usually, I would like to use the sensitive ones, but they're like somewhere under my bathroom sink and I just like cannot get them. Um, and these were in my drawer, so I will use these instead. Uh, teeth whitening time. 
I try my absolute best to like not let it touch my gums at all because it's just gonna make them even more sensitive but teeth lightning strips are on um anyways now I'm gonna fake tan I fucking hate fake tanning I hate the process of it I only like the outcome that's being tan so first of all this is a mitt uh, that I just got from Ulta and then I'm currently using the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey bronzing foam in dark Then I also use their face drops we did a little before here's like my stomach <sighs> here are my legs my arms okay I'll be back all right so I just put on the first layer of fake tan I did also um, tan my face with the drops um, I don't use like the foam on my face um, but I put on the first layer I let it dry for like a good 20 maybe 30 minutes and then I apply another layer all right so I just applied the second layer of tan which you cannot tell yet and you cannot tell in this lighting especially but basically I'm just gonna see you guys in the morning so that I can do a check-in with everything and show you how my tan turns out so good freaking night okay so it's the next day and I told you guys that I would have to, like show you the tan I literally cannot find good lighting to show you guys it but like so yeah it came out good um I do have to put a little bit more on my face though because my face did end up like a good bit still lighter than the rest of my body but <laughs> this lighting is good it's my arm I'll insert photos Okay, so that's all for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.